Hello, hello, hello. It's another wonderful Thursday evening here at the Castlevania Thon. So last time we uh, we finished up Order of Ecclesia. I said fuck it to all of the villager side quests because I did not want to put stream through a shitload of grinding for 2% drop rates. Because that's what it would have been. So now we move on to our final classic style Castlevania game in the series. And that is Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis, also known as Castlevania the with the new generation and also known simply as Vampire Killer. Basically, whatever region you were in, the game had a different name. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, one thing I've heard is that this is actually the first game released, not in, the, not in our chronological order, obviously, but the first game released to actually acknowledge the whip being named the Vampire Killer. Oh, all right. I've also been informed that this might be a bit of a difficult game. Uh, partially due to, I found out, the game has limited continues. So, obviously that's no good for this. So, what I am actually going to be doing to get by that is uh, at the beginning of each at the beginning of each stage I'm going to be save stating and if I ever lose all my lives and game over instead of continuing I'll load the save state that way unlimited continues <clears throat> excuse me anyway So let's go ahead and pull up the actual game. I think I might also need some help with uh, volume balancing because it seems like Castlevania Anniversary Collection went and reset its volume. So it might be a tad loud. But anyway, we shall get on into it. Let me turn the game sound on. Yeah, so I'm basically just going to have to let this go, and if it's too loud or too quiet somehow, I'll just need someone to let me know. Because I, I could sort of see it on the mixer, but uh, if the ancestors of the Belmont family are doomed to confront the power of evil incarnate, Dracula. In 1917, a countess sought to revive the long-dead spirit of the vampire. Her name was Elizabeth Bartley. To revive him, she needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. Two young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny push back the evil hordes, and drive the vampire back into his dark netherworld. For once, the text in a Castlevania game was actually moving along at a decent pace. I'm surprised. Ah, oh, excuse me. So I am actually going to go in here and check the options. Um, I'm going to set the amount of lives to maximum. We're going to be playing on normal difficulty. There is an unlockable hard mode, but uh, no, not going to do that. Plan on normal difficulty. And so here we go. Oop, I said here we go, damn it. So we get two choices of character to play as. We get John Morris, born December 12th, 1895 in Texas, United States, who uses the Vampire Killer 
the famous whip. Which, uh, canonically, uh, the Belmont clan is not able to touch at the moment for some reason or another that I don't think the games ever went into too great of detail on. They just said that it was a thing. I think it might actually be explained a bit more in uh, the next game. Then we have Eric Lecard, born May 3rd, 1892, in... <sighs> I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Segovia, Spain. And uses a weapon called the Alucard Spear. Obviously a reference to Alucard, but... Uh, not something that's ever really elaborated on, as far as I'm aware. So, on a uh, private Discord that I have with friends, I uh, ran a poll to determine which character I should play as. Seeing as how I can really only play as one, unless... Here's the thing. I don't know if I get to choose on each stage or only at the start of a continue. That being said, the results of that poll were just barely in favor of John Morris. So I shall be playing as him unless I'm given the opportunity to change later, in which case I'll probably switch between them as the game goes on. But I, I have no idea if I'm going to be given that option or not without having to use continue. But anyway, enough dilly-dallying. Ruins of the Castle Dracula, Romania. Ah, that's pretty cool. Way to go, Sega Genesis. We've got our awesome first stage music. And I will say there are some minor control differences. One is that John actually, I don't know, the whip feels a little faster. He also gets different sub-weapons from what I've seen. And we have our little reference to Castlevania 1 stage here. Alright. Zombies are fast, though. All right, well, that was a cool little power-up. Eh, yeah, evil eye. Also, it shows where the breaks in the wall are, which is interesting. Whoa. All right. Whoa! That's pretty neat. Whoa. This is some cool looking merman. Yeah, no, we are, uh, we're very Castlevania 1 at the moment. Oh, I lost my thing. I also keep forgetting I don't need to hit up in the attack button to use a sub weapon, because, you know, the Sega Genesis had three buttons. is basically like a one-to-one -one of the first stage in the uh, the original game. Alright. 
Hello, Red Dog. Oh god, such Genesis sound effects. That sounded so cool, though. Oh, are you done? He's, uh, he's all tuckered out, boys. Oh, that's just a mid-boss. Alright. Ah, bats! Interesting, the skeletons are smart and they don't get up until I'm out on their level. Wait. That's a breakable wall. Meat! Sweet, delicious wall meat! Is it just me or do the skeletons have, like, a mildly annoyed expression on them? Just like, ugh. Can't believe I get called here and it's not even to fight an actual Belmont? Man. Hello, dragon heads. Just as annoying as ever. Oh, well, I guess I'm using holy water now. Oh, hello, sword skeleton. Oh, there's actually an arc to the holy water. Eh. Whoa, all right. The X different. He pulled his head off. Oh, hey, I could whip up but not when I'm on the stairs. All right. Sure, why not? Yeah. Also noticing we use these red jewels instead of hearts in this game. I mean, it makes more sense. But apparently they never decided to stick with it. Oh, come on, guy. Let's fucking die already. <laughs> Alright. Man, there's a lot of blood dripping everywhere. This is so fucking cool looking. They're going a lot edgier with this than uh, any of the Nintendo console games did. Oh, get the wall mate. Oh shit. Go 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 you can't fool me. I ain't stopping for no fucking candle. Uh we can't have a single goddamn game without the white dragon. Hate this shit. Ugh, get out of the way. Oh hey, this is the Dracula staircase. It's facing the wrong way. I'll take that. Alright, what do we got? Hello. You're not vulnerable yet. Oh, I guess you are. You're, you're... This is not a very distinct damage noise. Very Genesis animation on this. I always love the way that they animated really large sprites on the Genesis. Like, you see a lot of it in games like Dynamite Heady. Love how that all looks. That's a game I should play for stream sometime. Dynamite Heady doesn't get enough appreciation. You, uh... You, you gonna do anything to me, buddy? You just kinda fucked? You're just kinda fucked. 
Gimme yo beach ball. Nice. All right, there's our password. All right, stage two, Atlantis Shrine, Greece. No explanation why we're going here, we just are. All right. Saving state, in case I die. Did you notice that even the, even the uh, thing that said stage two start was reflected in the water? What are you? Minotaur man. Ah! No, 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 no. You die. You don't get to, you don't get to come up that fast. I think it might just be with how they did the reflection effect. I think it literally is just copying everything on the top half of the screen. So the uh, the stage start text just got caught in it. No. Go away, Merman. Yeah. Stop. Oh, rising water. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Go, go, go. Well, Sega Genesis, a lot on the Sega Genesis just look beautiful. So, I mean, yes, ultimately the Super Nintendo was capable of better looking graphics than the Genesis was. But, like... That's not to say that the Genesis couldn't put out some good shit, is... Oh no. Okay, the water itself isn't an instant kill. I was gonna say, because that, that would be kind of bullshit if uh, I had a 50-50 chance there of death and that was it. Man, if this were an NES Castlevania, that would have been instant death. water everywhere. Stop. Why are you so easy? Fuck out of here, water man. Oh god, so Genesis, this fucking music. Oh, I died. Hello, sir. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have to fight Waterman again. And I don't have a sub weapon. At least Waterman's not hard. It's basically just I have to beat the timer of him drowning the stage. Get the fuck out of here. Sir, you have quite the reach. Oh, but what's this? You can't reach close to yourself. You can only hit far away. Oh, ah, ha, ha. your friend has come out. Oh, your friend has the opposite problem. I see. Your friend is more difficult. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have to do that all in one fell swoop, huh? 
Out of here, water boy. Ow. It's all right. I got this fixed number. This is no problem. I got to watch out for the axe guy after him. Because he doesn't have the weakness that Mr. Flail has. Oh, God. Ah, yep. Whew. It's a little tough. Out of here, Adam Sandler. Go make another shitty movie. Okay. If I could avoid getting hit by these birds, that would be fucking fantastic. Hi. Fuck him. Also, no, but you could at, you could at least quote the movie that I'm referencing. Oh, bye, holy water. Not like I'd be using you anyway. All right. Okay, kill the bird. Do not progress without killing the bird. All right. What do you got? What do you got? You got nothing, guy. All right, bring your brother out here. He's the one I'm actually concerned about. Alright, got my only free damage in. Oh, he jumped. Oh. Let's touch him real quick and go. There we go. Oh, we're going down now. Oh, no, Medusa heads, not now. Eh. Well, not even in Castlevania games, you don't see the down scrolling level very much in video games. Oh, their arc is a lot wider than it is in the Nintendo games. I'm not used to them moving like this. <laughs> Alright, got it. Move, 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 move. A. Hey. What are you? You're dead, that's what you are. Oh god. No, fuck off. Hello? That- John, that was- that was- 
priceless and you destroyed it because you needed a platform. Also, that guy just hated his life, I guess. We just witnessed a suicide. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm on my last bit of health on my last life. And I have to fight a white dragon! Ah! <laughs> oh. Loading. These stages are long. Ow. Get out of here, Manotar. Ow. Let's just go ahead and load that. Because I'm right at the goddamn start. Okay, let's see if we can do a little better. Okay, bye. Oh, got the holy water. Wanted to keep the boomerang. Oh, hello, merman. Y'all can fuck off. Here we go. this way. A one-up, you say? Interesting. I have to say, though, the controls are actually really nice. Like, it doesn't flow quite as well as, like, Super Castlevania 4. Honestly, I don't feel like you're far off making the JoJo comparison. Should be able to take care of his brother with just axes this time since I made it here on one life. So I can make short work of him and die later. Oh god. So anyway, like I was saying. will be extremely cautious and don't get cocky so that we don't die in a stupid way. God damn it, water boy. Are you kidding me? Wanna have more health, damn it. Because Mr. Flail isn't uh, exactly threatening, but his brother Mr. Glaive sure is. Oh. 
Alright, that's my free damage. Just gotta touch him real quick and go. Gotta touch him real quick and go. Gotta touch him real quick and go. Oh, you gotta touch him real quick and go. Alright. Careful with these Medusas. Because while they're predictable, they're not... They're not predictable in the same way that they are in every other Castlevania. Because their, uh... Their little arc of travel is different in this game. It's a lot wider. I'm sure there's an exact word for that kind of movement, but I don't know it. Go, go, go. Alright, out of here, buddy. And go ahead and destroy some priceless art again. Watch another suicide. Okay, I'm doing much better this time. More ready to face this goddamn... Uh, their movement pattern is even worse in this game. They're just all over the fucking place. I hate these things. Always hate these things. Um. Oh, okay. Uh oh. I saw that death coming. Uh, had one of those, and it was at this exact moment he knew he fucked up. Moments. Now I have to fight the white dragon again. Uh. Out of my way. Ah, oh, God. Fuck out of here, man. most annoying bullshit ever. Okay. Not gonna die to this guy. No siree. Oh, well, you see, Nova, that was just the style at the time. You know, like tying an onion to your belt. Oh god. No, 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 no. You stay away. Stay away. Ah, uh, boomerang. Uh, oh, oh, uh, okay. I'm fine. I was worried I fucked up there. Ah, fuck off. Okay. Down the stairs. Uh huh. Hey, axe. Okay.
I will take every opportunity to cheese that I get. Hey, boomerang. I think it's interesting they actually made the boomerang movement sub-weapon a boomerang. Uh, oh, this looks like boss time. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm making them shorter. Also, is this guy just made out of building? Now he's got kind of a Danny DeVito build. Wait, no, I stand corrected. Now he has a Danny DeVito build. Oh, I'm out of jewels. Woo! Yeah, get fucked. Uh, uh, uh. Give me your beach ball. Whew. Yeah, no, these stages are long. Alright, there's our password. Whoop. No, 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 I didn't mean to hit that. Stage three. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy. Alright. Save the game. Yeah, I think Axe is going to be useful if it's going to be throwing these harpies at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. He just tore that pillar off. Bad. Oh, I want the axe right now. Because these are going to be mean to me if I don't have it. No, drop it. Be shut up. Uh. Nope, nope, nope. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, just keep moving. Oh, God. I don't think Pisa has this much of a lean to it. A mummy? What the fuck is a mummy doing here? Also, this jump. I'm sorry? What? Wait, how am I supposed to get up there? Excuse me? Pardon? Wait, 
What is this? Huh. I can actually go back. Oh, what the fuck is this? What, what am I supposed to do? Sad. What? Hold on. Was that what I think it was? Is John Moore secretly a badass? Killed by one goddamn enemy. You fucker. Swing from his whip from putting it in a ceiling. Alright. I'm glad the game told me that. The game didn't tell me that. get across here, I'm meant to... Hucha! So, yes, John Morris is secretly a badass. Treating a white dragon like a... Oh, a white dragon can breathe fire now. That's why it's suddenly a mid-boss. Jesus! How are you supposed to hit this? Come on! It's a good thing that the axe is really good at that because of the wide angle. Oh! Um... This is... This is not how the Leaning Tower of Pisa works. This is not how it works at all. Oh no. Um. At least this isn't too bad. But uh <laughs> This is the uh this is the Genesis wishing that it had mode seven. Alright. 
mummies aren't too bad. Why there are mummies in the Leaning Tower of Pisa, I have no idea. Oh, now what fresh hell is this? Oh, God. Who are you and what are you going to do to me? That. Okay. I would like to take this moment to reiterate how fucking long these stages are. Okay. They die easy, though. Hello? Oh, God. What is this? Fuck off. Fuck actually off. come to a point where it might be better for me to take a continue because of how many state uh, because of how many lives I have left at the beginning of a stage but for right now I think I got this If I could find a one-up or something, that would be fantastic. Just go. Let's get out of here, John. I like the, uh, the whip swing move. I just wish the game would actually tell you about it. Uh, this is one of those situations where I just don't get to know about it because I don't have the manual. Oh, God. Fuck off! part isn't even that hard. It's just long. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, come on. This is definitely the Genesis wishing that it had Mode 7. Imagine how sickening this would look with Mode 7. Not that it already doesn't look really sickening. Alright, let's 
fucking go. Out of here, bats. All right, here we fucking go. <laughs> that works. I really shouldn't do that for all of them, though. Hey, Super Mega Man X, how's it going? You're in time for bullshit. That was totally on purpose. Move. Ah. <laughs> Fuck. It's, um... It's more of a wobbling tower of uh, Pisa than anything else. Fuck. Y'all stop hitting me. It's very rude. Okay, what's this over here? Hey, boomerang. I'll take that. Fuck. Okay. One more go with this. Another goddamn bat. Oh, do your jump, Johnny. Oh, come on. Cheap shot. Fuck out of here. Hate how I can only whip up when I'm jumping. I'm pretty sure that the real Leaning Tower piece is not leaning by this much. That's like 45 degrees. Yep. 
Get out of this fucking room. Yes, it's MC Escher's Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's what it is. White dragon time. Ah. Fuck actually off, you goddamn bony dragon piece of shit. There I go. Also, hello, Calm. Oh no, I have to fight this thing without a sub weapon. Oh my god, should I just fucking reset? Look at this! How are you supposed to accurately hit this fucking thing? Like, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, that was a pretty poor showing there, but, I mean, look what I have to work with. One whip upgrade and no sub-weapons against an upgraded white dragon. Thank you, Cal. Actually put a little bit of work into it. Ugh. Oh my god. Because they had more famous people from Castlevania to put into Smash. So it would have been nice if, uh... Like, what they should have done for, at the very least, Simon, um, make his, uh, like, do the, uh, the Dragon Quest, uh, hero thing with his, uh, alternate colors. And you can have him be all sorts of Belmonts without having to change it up. You can certainly have him be John Morris, they have a similar build. <laughs> Why am I even bothering to continue? I'm on my last life. There's no way in hell I'm gonna clear the uh, the rest of this without dying. I guess I need my practice. Yeah, see, exactly. Practice. But I feel like I'm pretty good at this part. Which was absolutely my cue to get hit by something that the game missed. <laughs> Welcome. I've uh I've gone and played all of those games. <laughs> All the games with weird controls and shit, as long as it wasn't an N64 game, <laughs> I've played it on stream. Because I've been going through the whole damn thing. Circle of the Moon is good. So it's a shame that I'm not playing it on stream, because, uh, it's not a, uh, because I'm going through all of the canonical 
Castlevania games, and Circle of the Moon is not canonical. Hell, this game is only barely canonical. I'm pretty sure it's only the, uh, the next game, Portrait of Ruin, that actually makes this game canon. And doesn't make it wind up in the same territory as the N64 games. Alright, so I have to beat this without getting hit. Whatever the fuck it is. And there we go. <laughs> Good boss, everyone. Ah, uh, yes, yes, it's clearly Moltres. Why couldn't I see that? Yeah, Moltres with its signature spear-like tail. Of course. Alright, fuck off with your pillar bullshit. No, 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 no. Just stop. Ah, yes. The, uh... The Pokémon that I don't care about. <laughs> well, Calm, you're utilizing the means that I won't speak of here. I say that as if I haven't admitted to emulating a handful of these games, but, uh... Go, 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 go. Man, if you haven't played since gold or silver, you've missed out. Nah, he's talking about the new Pokemon. a frame perfect jump there. Alright, I have a sub weapon this time, asshole. I was actually watching uh, footage of a, uh, excuse me, someone in Japan playing, uh, playing it earlier, and, uh, they, it was the most awkward goddamn situation, like, they were battling, because, like, for those who haven't seen the game, it does, it does a thing where it's, it's like, um, what is it, uh, Legends Arceus, where the battles don't go to a separate battle screen, they just take place on like, in the overworld, which is a fine idea and everything. Hell, it's, it's something that people have actually wanted for a while. Oh, you can do the battles either way? Interesting. I'm presuming it defaults to that, though. But anyway, um... What was I saying? Um, so they were doing a, a battle against a trainer, and they were, um, they had encountered this trainer on a, uh, on a slope. So, like, an incline. And so the entire time, like, the battle's going on, like, the camera doesn't, like, change at all for it taking place on an incline, so the whole thing is just kind of tilted. So it looks really goddamn weird. <laughs> oh. All right. 
bit. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and talk shit about a game I haven't played, because that's not fair. I'm just saying that I personally don't have any hype for it. Don't plan on getting it. And yes, it is largely due to the fact that uh, Shield version really... <sighs> Like, I had some fun with S.H.I.E.L.D. version, I can't lie, but I have a lot of major gripes with it. A lot of really big gripes with it. So just, I, I think I'm just going to take a back seat to Pokemon for right now. Besides, I have Castlevania to play! Stay calm. Remember that the sub items are a separate button now. Okay. Just stay calm. Wait, what? Where'd this holy water come from? I've heard. Some mixed things about Sonic Frontiers. Generally, I've heard pretty good. Um, <laughs> I've I've heard that the uh, the introduction tutorial stuff is uh, way too goddamn long. But once it lets you off the uh, the tutorial leash, it actually gets pretty good. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that one. But anyway. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on. That's not too hard, it's just the screen's really busy, so it's hard to tell exactly what he's doing. Oh no! <laughs> Mix means it's a good Sonic game. I guess that's one way to look at it, considering that the standard for Sonic games has largely been, <laughs> you know, is it just not terrible? Uh, excuse me? That harpy just took three hits to kill because I apparently just took its head off with the whip. What rating did this game have? Did this game come out when there were video game ratings? What fucking rating did this game have? With all of its blood and beheadings. Uh, I'm playing this part like ass. General audiences is not a high rating. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I did it again. Holy shit, look at that. And it just sprays out blood. And also, how bullshit is this? I decapitate an enemy, and that requires me to get an extra hit on it in order to kill it. What the fuck was that? Was that me fucking up a jump? Yeah, I figured that would be continuing too. That's yet another reason why I'm just kind of iffy on the Pokemon stuff right now. It's like... In order to actually keep all my Pokemon, I have to use the phone app and 
even then, like, I may not actually get to use a Pokémon that I like for who knows how many years. Like, unless they plan on turning, uh, Pokémon into a yearly franchise or something. Which, good god, I hope they don't. I don't I don't even know what I don't even know what that is. Is that is, is that this game's new gimmick that they're going to throw away next generation? Oh, so the Paradox Pokemon are this game's Ultra Beasts, basically. Got it. Where we're just coming up with a different name for Legendary Pokemon to make them sound more special. Goddamn wobbly tower of Pisa. Oh no! Oh, thank god I didn't fall. Can I please just get through this goddamn stage? Oh man, so that's where I'm getting this holy this fucking holy water from. Ugh. Holy water that ruins everything. Oh Johnny. Move thine ass, Johnny. Ah Yeah, I think after this stage, I'm gonna let myself use a continue just to get my lives back. for it to go on sale though because it goes on sale with like every steam sale in fact i guarantee you just missed a sale price back on the halloween sale all right 
So this time I need to see if I can dodge the holy water. Because I don't want that shit. <laughs> I also dodged living. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Nova, don't forget that there's also the Castlevania Advance Collection. So you can play the Game Boy Advance games as well as the, uh, <laughs> as well as, um, a game, another game that we did not feature in this series because, uh, it's vastly inferior to the other versions of it that exist. So you get to play the fucking Super Nintendo Dracula X Chronicles. Oh, what are you talking about, Super Mega Man X? Everyone loves Dracula X Chronicles. It's totally not inferior to uh, Rondo of Blood in every conceivable way. Got the holy water, damn it. Whip the goddamn things, get to the boss with half my health yet again. Go. Just fucking go, Johnny. Okay. Stop that. Gonna be close. Ah, God damn it. Ah! <coughs> Welcome to the chat there, Wyber the Fox. Nope, Dracula never learns. That's uh mm. but neither do I. <laughs> oh, feels bad, man. I had that. I knew it was going to be close, though. Oh, hey, there, I got another fucking harpy beheading. <sighs> yeah, this game is mean. I've, uh, I've definitely been learning that. It wouldn't be so bad if the stages weren't so long. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying it. I actually am really <laughs> enjoying it. Oh. It is a hard son of a bitch, though. Alright, go Johnny, go. Oh yeah, no, the music's been awesome too. But I mean, it's a Castlevania game. It's gonna have good music. Uh -huh. I am aware this is the last Classicvania that I have to do. I actually uh, made mention of such at the start of my stream. Yep, all Metroidvania after this, and, uh, oh, the best part is that the next game I get to play is Portrait of Ruin, 
Oh, I've been looking forward to that since I started this. <laughs> Surprisingly, the portraits are all amazingly intact. Ooh, oh, hey. That head actually boosted me up. How about that? All right. I've generally enjoyed the Metroidvania ones more, but uh, doing this series where I've played through all of them, I've definitely grown to have an appreciation for the classic ones. Rondo of Blood was excellent. I'm actually looking forward to replaying that one. See, I'm getting better. I suppose, but that's just because it has the, uh, the secret path things and stuff. And the alternate levels and whatnot. got this, Johnny. Ha! I even dodged the holy water. Fuck you guys! Look at me, it's like I'm actually good at video games or something. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'll gladly take that axe for the boss fight. Oh, so much health. So many lives. Ow. You little bitch. Eh. Don't you talk about Rocket Slime, Com. Don't you start talking about the bullshit you used to pull with that crap. <laughs> oh, get fucked. Oh, yeah. Give me your goddamn beach ball. Oh, I earned that. Look, after all that trouble, I got through the stage on one life. Oh, boy. Stage four. The Munitions Factory. Germany. Man, how did I get here? This I, I would like to remind the audience that uh, this game takes place smack dab in the middle of World War One. So the fact that I'm able to get around Europe this easily really says something.
no. Ugh. Out here. Whoa. All right, chill out, Skull Throwington. Is it just me, or is this starting to look more like a Contra game than a Castlevania game? Oh, yes. Dots on the map airline. I think that's the same airline they were using in JoJo. Oh, hello? Hey, wall meat. Always love to see it. Oh man, now you guys have me thinking about the uh, Super Mario crossover again. Now I'm sad again that it's gone. Oh, oh. All right. So far this stage isn't too bad. Ooh, hello. Die, 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 die. Oh, God. Uh. Yes, Com, those were famous last words. <laughs> now shut up and stop making me loose. Contra Hardcore sometime. Cause yeah, that was that was the one Genesis Contra game. Just like this is the one Genesis Castlevania. Oh, but Contra games are super fucking hard. That's not <laughs> that's not a series that I'm gonna sit here and try to play all of. God damn it. <laughs> I just landed slightly too soon. Oh, also, uh, I apologize for not mentioning at the time. I was uh, probably knee deep in the last stage, but uh, thank you for the follow there, Wyvern. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, what was that I was saying that the stage isn't that bad? I believe I also said that after I beat that stage, I was uh, going to grant myself a continue so I could have more lives. I shall do as such. Oh, really? It doesn't make me start the stage over? Interesting. water. Oof. You know, I have been, like, I have considered doing, um, like other whole series playthroughs like I've been doing with Castlevania on stream. Uh, not, not, probably not for a little while after I finish this though, because I don't want that to be all I do on stream. But, uh, before I, uh, decided on playing through all of Castlevania, I had actually tossed around the idea 
of playing through all of uh, Mega Man on stream. It's still something I'll consider doing at some point. I only decided to not go with it because I'm actually pretty familiar with the classic Mega Man series. Uh, as far as it stands, uh, only uh, 10 and 10 and 11 are the only Mega Mans that I haven't beat. Oh, that's a that's a crush. All right. And then I don't know if if that whole playthrough would have continued on into the oh well well yeah into the X games probably would have. <laughs> you just want more people to play Mega Man Legends. I think I think that's I think that's a trade that you and Nova are both on. Uh, I was I was about to say, oh, we have a room full of gears. Where's uh where's the old Medusa heads? Oh God, Battle Network. <laughs> And see, that's another reason why I didn't go with Mega Man, at least not for now, is like, where do I draw the line? Because I feel like that's too many games to just be doing in a row. Because uh, Capcom didn't uh, do the generous thing that Konami did and make a fistful of the... Mega Man games non canon later. H have I mentioned that I'm still incredibly thankful that, uh, due to the conditions I set up for this series, I didn't have to play through the N64 games? <laughs> I don't know if I've made that, uh, clear enough yet. <laughs> That's fair. And thanks to the conversation we had the other day, uh, I understand why. Because that was the last... Alright, and... Oh. oh, these are tricky. Sorry, I'm, like, I'm having a problem keeping my train of thought here, because this is actually a, a pretty tricky little obstacle they've given me. Oh. oh, hey, Frankie Stein, how's it going? Whoa, go, go, gadget arm! Alright, well, I got hit by every single one of his attacks, but I lived. Okay, then. That is a hurdy gray mass. I don't look forward to seeing how those are implemented in the stage going forward. What tarnation are these? I have no idea what these are, and they are kicking my goddamn ass. Holy fuck. All I know is that, yeah, holy water is probably going to be good for them. Can I slide? No? Can I make it through this? I think it's 
get part of the way through and then duck and then keep going? Is that what we're doing? Oh, the holy water doesn't one-shot them. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is ass. Oh, shit. I can whip down. Alright. That is slightly less ass. Alright. Okay. Just like we practiced. We didn't practice. Go! Fuck! God damn. Favorite Belmont so far? Ooh. That's a, uh... Well, first off, that's a load. I have to do the rest of the stage again, but oh well. This part's easy. Uh, so far... Hmm... It's hard to say, because I like some of the moves that Richter has. I like his design a fair bit. But, um, Super Castlevania 4 Simon with his uh, extreme maneuverability was quite nice. <laughs> That's one way to judge it, I suppose. Um, you know what the funny thing is, is I would have just as hard of a time answering who my least favorite Belmont is, because that is also a tough choice between two of them. Because that's going to be, uh, so yeah, most favorite Belmont is either going to be... Richter or Super Castlevania 4 Simon specifically and yeah uh, this is where I'm going to disappoint Super Mega Bad X here uh, because one of the two Belmonts battling for least favorite is uh, just I, 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 did, I did not care for just <laughs> yep, see, I knew that would, uh, I knew that would rustle some jimmies. But it's fine, because I think, because I think, uh, he loses out to Christopher Belmont. But that might just be because of how much I absolutely hated, uh, Belmont's Revenge. I am, I am never touching that goddamn game again. I wasn't expecting a whole lot with it being a Game Boy game, especially since I knew uh, that uh, the adventure had an edge when I played it, because I played the Rebirth version, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> I have not played Haunted Castle, so I am sensible. I actually did consider the idea of uh, pulling that up on stream once, but I decided that I liked myself better than that. I, I had also... Um, so... Th this one has a, bit of a, has a bit of a logic train to it. There was another thing that I was considering doing as a, uh, a joke one-off stream. Which was, uh... So, there's a... So, we just went through a, a little bit of a time gap between, uh... Oh, God damn it! Between Order of Ecclesia and, uh, Bloodlines here, in which we jumped over three games that, uh... Oh! Thank God this isn't on the NES or I would have died. Three games that aren't canon anymore. 
technically speaking, between Order of Ecclesia and Bloodlines is also when the Bram Stoker novel takes place, which is sort of pseudo-canon. Hence the, uh, you know, me playing as John Morris right now. Uh, there were a couple ideas I had just kind of as a little joke thing to, uh, acknowledge that fact. Um, so before I realized how long of a novel Bram Stoker's Dracula was, or is, I should say, I had actually considered, uh, doing a stream where I just read aloud the novel Dracula. But, uh, then I realized how long it is, and I'm like, I am not gonna sit here and read all that. So the next idea I had was, um... Equally stupid. Was, uh... The next idea I had was to do a watch-along with the, uh the movie version with uh, Keanu Reeves. Ah, uh, goddammit. But I decided I also didn't want to do that sort of content on here, even as a joke. <laughs> and that's the thing is, I haven't seen the movie, so it would be a nice, like, fresh look on it, too. The last idea I considered but ultimately threw out just because I wanted to get on with the Castlevania stuff because I want to get to Portrait of Ruin because it's a really fun game <laughs> um, was to do like a single stream where I played uh, one of the uh, one of the game adaptations of that movie because there there was one for both the, uh, the Genesis and the, uh, the Super Nintendo. But that would have been, like, a one-stream thing. I wouldn't have finished the game or anything. God damn, you die really loud, Frankie Stein. I ultimately decided to chuck the entire thing out and just get on with it. I have to press down after the jump. I also have to not suck. All right. Okay. Allow myself to continue, because it's the same continue that I used before. God damn it. There we go. That's how you kill these, uh, beetle motorcycles. Okay, now how the fuck do you get past this? If I were Castlevania, if I were Castlevania Four Simon Belmont, I'd be able to duck walk under it. I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to get under that. Do I have a slide move that I just don't know about or something? Why can't you be Richter and have a slide move? <sighs> the 
yeah. That sucks that, that that's legit what it is, but all right. They were assholes for putting this trap here. Wow. Holy shit. Fuck them for putting that there. Taking care of you at a distance. There we go. Oh boy. And I'm out of boomerang juice. Tapped him. All right. Got him. Ooh. What are these gears on? They're not on anything. They're just floating. That's bullshit. Oh, so that really is just the way to do it, huh? Oh. Boss time? Boss time? Woo! Wow. Hello, sir. Oh, I see. Do I have to hit, hit the core? Okay, excuse me, sir. I gotta... This guy makes me think he belongs in uh, Gunstar Heroes. <coughs> ah yes, we get to see the marvels of German engineering. Yeah, he reminds me of... Um, What's his name? Uh, curry and rice. Oh, he bounces high. Okay. All right. Okay, and I get holy water for this, which is, uh, uh, wholly useless against him. I guess the flames might reach high enough. I kind of forget they do that. Oh yeah, and it arcs too, so I guess it's not completely useless. Oh god. Go. Go, go. Yeah, no, this is actually a pretty cool boss. It definitely fits right at home in Castlevania. Like, I could easily see this being one of the DS games. Yeah, he's just a funky little robot. Well, funky little collection of gears. Alright. And I'm kind of getting how to fight him. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's a move he hasn't used before. He's doing it again. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, he's just going to be doing that now. Oh. Oh, just die. Oh. Oh no, I took damage before fighting him. That's alright, I'm understanding him. Getting into his robot brain. say that and I'm, you know, just getting destroyed by him. I could be doing better, for sure. Go, 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 go. Oh, hey. I interrupted it. All right. Oh, I can't move. I'm stuck. Oh, God. I don't know, I think the Germans just didn't want to get made fun of with their little wibbly-wobbly robot. jump. I was going to toss low. Use a little spin. And swim. Got him. I got him this time. Fuck you. Now look at me having no lives on this continue going into the next stage. Mm, that's boding well. Oh well. Beach ball. Oh. <sighs> our password.
stage five. Versailles Palace, France. Save the game. And all right. It's about that time, folks. As much as I would like to keep going, believe me, I would. I have work in the morning. So we are going to be calling it here for tonight. Whew. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. Thank you again for uh, Wyburn for the follow. Always good to see uh, new people in chat. Especially uh, people who, uh, you know, can share some insight or enjoyment of the game. It's always good. But yeah, so uh, next stream uh, will be with my uh, regular schedule uh, on uh, Saturday afternoon, or rather, Saturday at noon uh, Pacific time, where we will be continuing this. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time, and have a good evening. Uh, goodbye.